Guys that you have back there, you got some yeah, really definitely. Young, we guys. do. We got some young, talented guys. You, you think um, uh, four true freshmen are out there, um, and uh, that were highly ranked guys in terms of. You know, you had Xavier and Brown coming over from California. You had Woodyear coming over. Um, uh, you had uh, Mincy. Uh, you had Mbakwe, big time star in state. Uh, I'm leaving. Got Drake, uh, Drake, uh, 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 Patrick. I mean, so, so so many young guys. Again, you don't want to overwhelm them, right? Don't overwhelm them. Don't, don't, you know, you want to make the game um, not, the game's never necessarily going to be easy, but you want to make it simple for them. Uh, you know, what's two plus two, it's four. You know, give them small things, small job responsibilities, let them do that job well, and then build from there. Um, so we're trying to give them clear, clear expectations, get them lined up, and then, and then build on the, uh, celebrate the wins along the way. They're going to make mistakes. Half of these guys, a lot of them should be in high school right now. They should be going to prom right now, but they're out there playing and competing against SEC caliber mm -hmm. talent, and they're, they're holding their own. They're doing a phenomenal job. So um, uh, we're not going to overwhelm them with too much. We're going to take it a piece at a time, uh, give, them, give them small jobs, and, and, and then build and grow from there. They're doing a really great job right now. Though. Coach, I'm sorry if you were asked about this before, but uh, Keon Sab and Damani Jackson, if you could talk about what each of those guys bring um, as transfers. It's so funny. I got off the airplane. They flew me really quickly from Buffalo down here. It was like a middle-of-the-night flight. <laughs> I land. Uh, the first guy I see waiting on me in the facility is Damani Jackson. I knew him when I was at Michigan as co-DC, and we were recruiting him out of high school uh, when we had Will Johnson committed, and he was another one that we were talking to. I left, and I went uh, and took the head coaching job at Buffalo. And then you think about the full circle of football. You mm -hmm. come back, I walk in the facility, he's just smiling at me. <laughs> I'm just like, listen, that's what football is, man. It's just it's a circular deal, and we're happy to be together. We're working together. He's mm -hmm. doing a really great job. He's in a good mental space. Yeah. Uh, we're just building him up right now, taking yeah. it to practice at a time. Yeah. And then on Sab. Oh, yeah, Sab. And same thing with Sab. You know, because mm -hmm. um, I was on my way out of mm -hmm. Michigan when he got it recruited yeah. there. And so no, known Keon, known his dad. Just uh, really excited about the group of guys. You know, I think when you look at um, what he did um, starting, I think, you know, Keon started in the national championship game yeah. and, uh, had, and and it really was on an upward swing. Yeah. Um, and to get him here yes. and get him going, he's been mm -hmm. a phenomenal addition. Yeah. He's savvy. He's long. He's, yeah. And you can feel the experience that he has you know just a guy that's been out there yeah. a little bit of just head nod you know coach yeah. I got it um, so he's, he's, he's been a, a pleasure to have and him Damani experienced guys to mix that in with some of these younger guys and Malachi Moore it's a really great balance right now now we got a long ways to go yeah. but the guys are on sure. track and they're yeah. building the right way yeah. how would you describe kind of King Womack defense what's a swarm defense for somebody who's swarm defense identity it's a mentality uh, it's, it's, it's uh, how we do everything uh, it's just uh, developing you know, when, when teams turn the film on and they watch us play, what do we want them to say? Yeah. You know, so it's just a, I think it's a, it's a healthy competitive chip on your shoulder. It's an edge about yourself. Uh, it's a swagger. It's a confidence, but not cocky. Uh, it's, it's humble, but also with the confidence knowing that uh, when we go out there and play, we can play with the best of them. Um, so the guys are now adhering to that. Again, um, we're starting uh, where we're starting now, and we're, we're given that vision and that plan for that identity and what we want it to look like. Uh, we want to continue to reach for the, the, the high expectations. They're going to take high standards on a daily basis for ourselves. Uh, but the guys, you know, they're just words until we bring them to life, until we really consume it and bring it to life. And that's what the guys are doing right now. You talk about all those new guys, the young guys, the transfers. How much does it help to have a guy like Malachi back with the experience yeah. and leadership you've already shown? It, it, it's like when, I liken it to when I was in the NFL and I had uh, you know, some veteran guys, even when we had Ha Ha Clinton Dix. It's just something about older guys that have been through the fire, that have been through it a little bit, um, that just, I mean, just the touch points that they can have with even a younger player. Pull them to the side. Hey, stay high on this route. Hey, we got to talk a little bit better on this route. It's a, it's a coach on the field. Malachi Moore, uh, it, 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 it's, it is speechless in terms of what he brings, the value he brings, not just his on the field production, but who he is, his presence, how he goes about his business. First one in, last one out. When you look at these 18 year old guys that we have on the roster right now, I'm sure he's a guy that we can point to to say you know that's a guy you want to emulate a Malachi Moore is a guy that you know that's what leadership is leadership is a guy that's worthy of emulation that's what that's what Malachi Moore is did you do fields boundary yeah. at Buffalo and if so just what, what makes a good field and what makes a good boundary that's a great question you know right now we, we, we teach left and right and what you do uh, by uh, by beginning that way at least um, is you develop the depth because you're not playing necessarily a backup for the guy. You're trying to build the uh, secondary like you build an O-line. Give me who's number one, 
who's number two, who's number three, so we can get our best five on the field. And then you're trying to get number six, seven, and eight on the field as well. So when you rep uh, uh, left and right, they get experience playing some field and some boundary. Uh, ultimately, we'll get them to a point where the job responsibilities start to shrink and we can get a little bit more specific with what a guy can do, but expose them to a lot right now. Spring is where we can experiment a little bit where we don't have that back end of an opponent coming up to play us right now. Um, so we're, uh, we're allowed to play around with these guys a little bit in a healthy way, in a competitive way. Um, but we're, we're going left and right so those, they can get that experience at field and boundary right now. And then we'll get a little bit more specific plan as we move into the summer. Thank All you. Right,